All right, let's see what we got on the my followed levels list. Let's see what we got, and uh, we'll probably do probably do some endless. Kaizo in the depth, really jank and hard Kaizo level. What a what a fantastic description. I like how you can't tell anything from the preview either. All right, let's see what he's got. Let's see what this really jank and hard Kaizo level is. <laughs> consider consider me intrigued. Jankzos. Doesn't seem too jank so far. He was pissed when it did nothing. Well, it does something. It just sends you back to the title screen. This is jank. <laughs> he was right. Oh, no. Oh, no. What do I do there? <laughs> I don't think I've ever done this move. All right. That didn't seem too bad. All right. Why do people put vines behind spikes? Because they think it looks better. Fuck. Okay, got it. Hmm. It's a level. I mean, he did say it was a really hard and jank level, right? Oh, he wants me to do two bounces there. Okay, two bounces. Extremely poor and unreliable quality. Fuck. Or bro when never. Whoa! Holy shit! Okay. <laughs> I had no idea. Holy shit. Bowser's the boss. Thank you very much for continuing the gift sub. Oh, wait, did something break there? What happened there? The bomb didn't go. Did some, I must have did something wrong. Uh, that was closer. Almost had it. I hope there's a checkpoint in this level. It said it was a 40 second world record or uh, upload time, so... 40 seconds is not too bad. I kind of wish, I feel like this would be really sick as like a red coin level. So that way you only have to do something once. Cause like this first section up to the spring jump, that could have been like one red coin, you know? But I'm also just like a whiny baby, but still, that would be really sick. I don't get it. I don't get that. I don't know what's supposed to happen. If you know, enlighten me. Would I be a happier individual if I went to ROM back to ROM hacks? I'll be back to ROM hacks uh, soon enough, but no, I won't be happier. <laughs> Go far right and then drop the shell, which allows you to face right. Hmm. Oh, no. Like the other shell is hit. The other shell is hit. I don't get it. I don't get it. Drop it on the way down? Is that not what I did? I don't get it. Is it asking for it? I don't know. I, I legitimately don't see what to do there. So are you saying, Lenny, you're saying I'm dropping it too soon? Like drop it later. 
Lenny, Lenny knows things I don't know in Mario Maker. I'll trust, I'll trust Lenny when it comes to this shit. Where can you find my ROM hacks? Um, I've made three ROM hacks. I made Kamikaze Bros, which is a Mario Bros. 3 hack. I made Grand Tour World 1 and Grand Tour World 2. Uh, so both my Mario World ROM hacks are on Super Mario World Central. And Kamikaze Bros, last time I checked, is uh, on romhacking.net. So... You have to drop the shell because otherwise the shells will collide in your hands, I believe. Mmm, Kamikaze Rose is pretty fucking hard, too. Honestly, everything I made is stupid hard. <laughs> it's all stupid hard and you shouldn't waste your time. Yes, uh, Kamikaze Bros is a miracle that the game functions. The game- Kamikaze Bros is basically held together with duct tape and spit. And it, it functions and it works. I don't think it will ever go down as one of the greatest ROM hacks ever made because it is it is not it is not very good. And since then SMB3 ROM hacking has come very far. Like Freakin' Ha, Lewin, Lucky Lewin, Freakin' Ha, Paco, and others have done a lot to push SMB3 ROM hacking farther than I ever thought it would ever go. Um And it's really impressive what they've done. Man, I this all of a sudden I'm having trouble with this part. Use Lunar Magic for SMB3? No. Yeah, it was my first ROM hack. At the time, I'd, at the time, I think I'd owned Mario Maker for like not even like not even a year or something. So I was very inexperienced. Shit, that was close. And then I don't know what's happening. I guess you twirl on the Yoshi and then I don't know what. Have I played any new suit packs? No, I don't like new Super Mario Brothers. I also have a cartridge for Kamikaze Bros. It was a gift from Glitch Cat. I think there are new Super Mario Brothers hacks. I remember hearing about one a long time ago that's supposed to be really good, but uh, Play ROM hacks on Nintendo Classic consoles. Uh, yes, a num a lot of people who stream Super Mario World ROM hacks play on their original SNES. They just have a setup to be able to stream it. Easiest way is going to be emulator. What the hell was that? It, it is. It is. This level does seem a bit jank. It does seem a bit jank. But he did warn me about it. Would I do more ROM hacks for other games like Link to the Past? Uh, so if you want to ROM hack a game, you should probably be like pretty good at it. You know, I would think. I've only pl I've only beaten Link to the Past once, so no, no, I would not do that. <laughs> I'm so good at Hollow Knight; it's crazy. Yeah, I really am. Fuck, man. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. What the heck is jank? Why is it every every Mario Maker streamer is new? Or the level, level literally says really jank in the description. Have I played Super Metroid on stream? Yeah, uh, I think once. I think I beat it once on stream. I love Super Metroid, but I, it's not a game I would ever speedrun just because it's just a really, really difficult thing to do. It's a big, it's a big commitment. Just give me the shell jump. Oh, I want to see what to do next. I want to see what's next. I actually have a I actually have a Super Metroid ROM hack. It's called uh oh what's the name of it? There's a Super Metroid ROM hack I always meant to play. I never got around to it though. Okay, so I flutter Yoshi into that. 
hit it, and then I ditch Yoshi, shell jump off the on-off, and then into the pipe. And then, please, God, let there be a checkpoint. That's what it's Hyper Metroid. That's what it is. Hyper Metroid. Oh, no. You love my illogical dislike of Hollow Knight. I don't have a dis I don't have a dislike of Hollow Knight. I dislike the people who just constantly bother me about it every time I hit start streaming. That's the reason why. I have nothing against Hollow Knight except for its fan base. <laughs> and that is that is God's honest truth. Every day I I was never like You know, you know what fans never bothered me? Uh Last of Us. People would people would occasionally ask, "Hey, Barb, have you played Hall have you played Last of Us?" I'd be like, "No, I haven't played it." They'd be like, "Yeah, you should play it sometime." And then that would be it. And then I wouldn't hear anything from Hall from from Last of Us fans for like six months. Nobody would ask me about it. Hollow Knight fans, there's like six every day. Fuck you. Leave me alone. Nah, shit. <laughs> Fan bases should be less irritating to people who like. I think I think the one thing I used to say about Hollow Knight, what before people before people went way too far bothering me about it, is that I don't like the visual style. I don't like the way it looks. It's the only thing I said about it. I've played games that I, that I don't like the visual style of necessarily, but I enjoyed it. All right, I'm not gonna give in the terrorist demands. Thank you. Play my favorite game. I'm not, I don't, it's, it's probably a fantastic game. It probably is. I refuse to fucking play it at this point. You can't annoy me into doing what you want me to do. Try paying me into doing something you want to do. <laughs> It'd probably be more effective, but no, I'm still not playing Hollow Knight. But paying me might actually be better. <laughs> Ever heard of Sukaden? Uh, I'm not a big RPG guy. If I play an RPG, when it comes to RPGs, I really only want to play the best of the best. I really do because I don't have the patience. I don't have the patience for even a mediocre RPG. Does that make sense? I felt like it was big and bloated. I have I have no opinion on the game except that the fan base is goddamn irritating as fuck. That's my only opinion on Hollow Knight. And I don't really like the visual style. No, I never played Diablo 2. I thought about putting something like that on the 24-hour uh, voting list. That should come out this week. Name a fan base that doesn't suck? I did. Last of Us. Last of Us fans never bothered me. They were just like, occasionally they'd be like, hey, have you played Last of Us? They didn't spoil anything. They, didn't, they weren't whiny. They were just very patiently waited for me to play Last of Us. And then while I played Last of Us, they like never bothered me about it. I don't think I got like any backseating or anything at all during Last of Us. I think it's because the Last of Us fans are just older. Chat. Chat. One of your favorite games? You miss throwing bricks. <laughs> oh well, yeah, Last of Us is what? What? What's the criticism? It's another. It's another millennial walking simulator. <laughs> Us millennials love our walking simulators. Shit! That was close. <laughs> I couldn't help. I couldn't help doing my uh, suck brick, kid. I couldn't help doing that. Uh, Poperman, thank you so much for 16 months. Big mug. Dude, I... If you know my wife... I don't even know, like, so Katie, we'll like, we'll like walk around grocery stores and shit. And she's just like, we have so many fucking coffee mugs right now. You have no idea. You really have no idea how we have an absurd amount of coffee mugs. But when we go to like, when we go to like a store, she looks around and she's like, look at this mug. It's so cute. And she's like, if I wasn't there, she'd buy it. If I wasn't there, she'd buy it. But I'm there and I'm like, no, don't buy it. We have 50 million fucking coffee mugs. We don't need more, right? If I had control over the coffee mugs, we would all have coffee mugs like this that are as big as my fucking head because I don't want to go downstairs 800 times to fill up a coffee mug. I want to do it once. She's like me with controllers. I mean, I haven't bought a control. The last controller I bought was the 8-bit controller. Thank you. 
So no, not quite. Fuck, man. Are all are all wives the same? Are all of our significant others the same? She had the gall, so like, my wife my wife's got some balls on her. My wife's got some big balls on her, because <laughs> I we and and our on our kitchen counter thing, there was like there was like a big box and it's a bunch of coffee mugs, right? Yeah, wife balls. She's it's a big it's a big box and it's full of new coffee mugs and shit. And I'm like, what is this? And she was like. Oh, that was gonna be your Christmas present. It's a bunch of coffee mugs. I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? You're trying to convince me that these coffee mugs are my Christmas are Christmas present for me? This is not a Christmas present for me. This is a Christmas present for you. I'm trying to I'm trying to pass it off as oh, this is this is what I want. I would throw away every single coffee mug we have and just replace them. But but no no, she's got some balls on her. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna wrap up like a video. I'm gonna wrap up like a controller. And be like, oh, it's a video, pre it's a, it's a present for you, honey. <laughs> uh, composer, thank you for 31 months. Unlike other games, The Last of Us grounded mode is harder for enemies with higher HP. You can't use detective mode in very low supplies. Ah. Definitely try a grounded mode run or DLC one day. Mm. After I played Last of Us once, I don't feel like I'd ever really want to play it again, to be totally honest. I really liked it, but I feel like it has no replayability for me. I don't know if I'd really be interested in playing it. Yeah, definitely interested in playing Last of Us 2. Pretty much close to zero interest in playing Last of Us 1 again. I liked it. It was cool. The DLC, like, maybe, but I don't really see a reason to play it again. You could, like, 100% cheese that. <laughs> I'm pretty sure if, we, if, if I just had a little bit more, like, thought process there... I think I could have, well, maybe the piranha plant. Never mind. Maybe I couldn't grab the shell. Last of Us is too stealth. Should be more banging. I think my criticism of Last of Us 1, the gameplay, was that I feel like stealth was kind of busted in the game. And not like busted as in it was really good. It just felt wrong. If you decide to put a stealth system in your video game, stealth is really hard to do right. It's like a really, really challenging thing. That might, be, that might be one of the hardest things to put in your game. I feel like Sekiro as a... as Because I just... I obviously just replayed Sekiro. I feel like Sekiro just threw its hands up and said, Fine, whatever. Just just kill every enemy you want. <laughs> Within reason. It's just like, you can just walk up on anything and kill it. Whatever. Like, it didn't even try. Last of Us... Last of Us tries a little bit harder. But I don't know if it was more successful. I wonder what game has the best stealth system. Maybe something like Splinter Cell or something. I don't know. And you know, I know people, we all, sl we, we can all slam dunk on Bethesda stealth. But honestly, Bethesda stealth is pretty good. Like Skyrim stealth is pretty good. It's not great. It's just, it's pretty good. That's the Wild Head decent stealth. I didn't notice I was too busy sleeping. <laughs> huh? Oh, Korok? Oh, okay. Here's my... I'm going to put on my tinfoil hat. What if Bethesda... What if Outer Worlds is actually a Bethesda title? It's like, it's like how they released... You know how... So, a long time ago, I think Coca-Cola made a brand of soda that was designed to fail just so they could fuck over like a pepsi brand you guys know about this they like they like purposely spiked the football you know what i mean yeah yeah new coke what if what if bethesda what if fallout 76 is the new coke <laughs> it was just designed <laughs> the shell corporation 
That's some five. Todd Howard is on some fucking five million IQ shit. Dude, I can't. I, I'm throwing the shell as soon as I get it. Like, I'm not like thinking. I'm not like, oh, I'm going to hold the shell. I'm throwing it like as soon as it gets in my hands and I'm still just not throwing this thing. I'm too crunk after making it. I am definitely too crunk right now. That's surprisingly forgiving. G. Well, half GG. We got a G. Just one G. All right. Sip of coffee. Oh, no. Single G. Barb G. Oh, no. All right. Oh, no. Oh no, is that gonna be a fucking wall juggle? Oh my god. I think that's gonna be a fucking wall shell juggle. Oh no, dude. Oh no. Well, maybe jank. I don't even know how to fucking do that shit, man. Man, I am in so much fucking trouble. Oh my god, I'm in so much trouble. I don't know how to do that. Oh, no. <sighs> I have to do it twice. Once off the right wall, once off the left wall. Oh, man. Oh, no. What? How dare you not one-shot this? Oh, don't do that. I don't want to go back to the start. <laughs> I don't want to go back to the start. Not that. This level, this is a hayfly level, and the description said very hard and jank. So I was like, this is a job for me. Uh, so I threw it way too soon. Okay. <laughs> This is a job for Barb Man. Oh, no. It's a job for the fast man. Hope the house is coming along well. Terminator 300 bonus 30. Uh, it is. Oh, no. We, um, we're getting more furniture in. We got a new TV. Uh, we've got some, um,. I convinced my wife to go the movie poster route. So we're getting some movie posters on the wall, which is going to be sick. Uh, we're going to have posters. What am I doing wrong there? All of a sudden I can't do it. So we're getting posters. There's going to be posters on either side of our TV. The, we're going to have a Rashomon poster and a... What was the other? I don't even remember what the other one was. I know one of them is Rashomon. Oh, it's Rashomon and Star Wars. And uh, I also, we, we got some other posters too. We're getting two chairs today. Um, getting delivered for our like library room. I don't understand why that's not working. It's a new hope. Total recall. No, the other, we got some other posters, but my wife is not happy with them. Um, the other ones we're getting are 2001 A Space Odyssey. And uh, I got one for Kagamusha and uh, Conan the Barbarian. But my wife doesn't want them all up because she says she doesn't want the house looking like a dorm room. Oh, no. so. Rashomon. It's a Kurosawa film. Get your opinion on each of the Star Wars movies. Uh, original trilogy is best. The prequels are stupid. Uh, the new movies are trash for the most part. Some okay moments, but... 
Episode 9, Return of the Forgettable Characters. I can't wait to see where they take, uh... Uh, you know, never mind. Never mind. Changed my mind. Three cats and I, you know, three cats, you and you and me should open like, uh, we should have, we should open our own like podcast or like YouTube series where we, you and I just get together and talk about movies. I feel like that'd be, I feel like that'd be pretty good. You're jealous of the Rashomon poster? It was like $9. Go get one. It was like nine fucking dollars. Yeah, right. That'd be a good podcast. I'll get right on that as soon as I do my, uh. I, right after I do my uh, book podcast with uh, Incredible Paco. Not all of us have $9. You can get movie posters pretty fucking cheap. Although, if you want to get original original movie posters, oh my god, they're so expensive. Is this the poster I'm hanging up? <laughs> I don't think my wife would let me get away with the Costanza modeling poster. Go to a blockbuster that's closing, that's closing down. The Boba Fett series looks awesome. Uh, I haven't seen much of it. I just, I can't remember to do it. I, all right. Yeah, just go to Blockbuster 12 years ago. Oh, if, yeah. Uh, they also had this option. You could get backlit movie posters at the websites we were at. And uh, backlit movie posters are pretty expensive. But I was like, man, that'd be so cool. Can you imagine? And then your house would really start to look like a movie theater. I just like, I can't drop. It's like I can drop it once, but I can't do it twice in the other direction. I can't do it. <sighs> I'm going to be here a long time. I wish it was anything but this, because I just... And there's no reason. It's a cool level. I just... I suck so bad at this move. I'm terrible at it. I don't... I don't... I just... It's like the... Imp, it's a lot of inputs in a very small amount of time. And it's very finicky. It's hard if you've never really gotten the muscle memory down for it. Could it be easier with the joystick? Uh... Well, that was with the joystick. Maybe I should use joystick, actually. It definitely feels easier with the joystick for some reason. All the beasts, and you can get that smart beast with like one try this section. Yeah, it looks like joystick is the way to go here. so close okay we're making progress who thought of joystick somebody who experienced joy while playing with a stick ah so probably your mom <laughs> all right do i want to hit it once to the so i want to hit it once to the left One's to the right. All right, we're gonna die immediately. Okay, I did not hit it to the right. Okay. It's amazing how much easier it is with the stick. was that there's the jank <laughs> the word joystick was first used in 1909 was that the was that by henry j kaizo senior they used the word joystick <laughs> oh, no. 
Oh, oh I had to like let go of jump there or something. Okay. Henry J. Kaizo Sr. The J stands for joystick. <laughs> It's like, so the reason why that's jank is because the bomb, you can hit the bomb at different heights and you'll get different heights off of it. That's why that's jank. See, like I got a little bit too much height off the bomb somehow. This is a cool level. There are definitely very, very good level creators out there who are still innovating and making cool levels in Mario Maker. They're just, the, they're the exception and not the rule, you know? That's why, like, that's why to me, I feel like it's really unfair. People are like, Bob levels are so overrated and he's such a piece of shit. It's like, I don't demand that you like my levels. Like, I, I, I can, I'm not going to argue you into liking my levels. If you don't like my levels and you don't like me, that's fine. But, like... The alternative, the alternative in Mario Maker is absolute darkness. It is the darkness of the void of the nine-year-old level design of levels like Bra and levels by Sleederman. You know, like, do you, should I just leave Mario Maker and leave you to Bra 6 and Sleederman and, and my first Webel and car speedrun? Like, fend for yourself. Fuck you guys. Figure it out. You know? Yeah, it's it's a it's a it's a dark void out there. I don't even make levels all that often. I make like maybe a level a week. You know? And I get it, you don't like my levels. I'm not trying to convince you to like my levels, but like I like at least live and let live, you know what I mean? Like let me let me do what I'm doing. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. We can't all be bufflin, you know. I think every level creator who doesn't shit his pants and make a giant sack of shit troll level every time they start, every time they make a level, I think you gotta, you gotta hold on to those level creators. You gotta cherish them. <laughs> it's not working, man. It's not working. What do I think of Panga level? I think Panga is an amazing level creator. I wish I wish I could make stuff as fast and Panga is a level creator who I don't think he has ever experienced doubt. Like if I say if I put an obstacle, I'm like, ah, maybe this maybe I could do something better and like ah, maybe this sucks. And I should, I'm gonna redo it. I'm gonna redo this whole level. Ah, fuck this level. I'm gonna move on. That's like how I am. Panga's like done. You know, like he just slaps it out. I've never he, he, and I, I admire that. That doesn't mean I like all of his levels, because I don't. But I'm sure Panga also doesn't like all my levels. This is how this is how it is. You're not gonna like everybody's levels. When Panga decides to make Dram World three, when Panga makes Dram World three, he's gonna make that shit in a week. <laughs> he's just gonna be like, "All right, it's done. Here it is." And I spent a thousand hours on Gra over a thousand hours in Grand Portal 2. No one likes my level with the two stack Bowser. I didn't make that level to be liked by people. I made that level to hurt people. <laughs> That's why I told people not to play that one. Right. We just, Panga and I have very different creative processes. That's all. I'm somewhere like on the Panga and fail stream. Like at one end of the extreme is Panga who makes a level in like two hours and it's, it's a great level. On the other end of the spectrum is Failstream, who makes a level and it takes him 4,000 hours to upload it. <laughs> I'm somewhere, I'm somewhere between those two.
Laser, did you ever see in the YouTube comments of the MMC level creation? There's some guy who was like, I can't believe Barb made such a such a obscene dick and uh, dick in the level to start off with. Can't he see that there's a lady present? <laughs> Referring to Space Cat. <laughs> Barb, how disrespectful. There is a lady in the room and her name is Space Cat. Uh, 9S9. Thank you for the sub. I appreciate it. Thank you for the gift sub there. In there? In there? GG? He's gonna fucking hit me with a muncher or something, isn't he? Oh, no one-ups? Alright. In there, baby. I would have beat it. I think I would have beat it sooner if it wasn't for that... Just not knowing the spring was going to be there. <laughs> GG. That was a really cool level. Also, go to hell, Linny. <laughs> Asshole. 